And Justin Fields like, oh, not this time. No, you got me the last time I was here on this field. Like, you chased me all over the field. Now I'm going to let you keep chasing me. Where's Mike? Look at his throw on the run to the left. Like, can it be any more perfect? The Pittsburgh Steelers have officially traded for quarterback Justin Fields of the Chicago Bears and have only given up a sixth round draft pick. Well, this is a film breakdown of Justin Fields and what he'll be able to bring to the Steelers team at the quarterback spot. This breakdown was done by Brian Baldwinger, Baldy NFL. That's his handle. Go check him out. He does a great job breaking down NFL games and players. This is my reaction, criticism, analysis of this video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so you get notified for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and get film breakdown highlights like this one. Let's get right back into it. Justin Fields was awesome in this game. Here he is, looking left, doesn't like it. Doesn't have time to reset his feet right here, but he gets the ball out to Cole Komet. Like, you just watch excellent play action throughout the day, all right? Get him going one way, come back, and then fire that ball right there to Equinamia St. Brown. Then you watch this right here. Like, Detroit does a good job on this rollout of covering all the receivers, all four. So what's he do? He just finds his own lane, slides into second base safe. You watch these the, the, the movement right here, a little drag slide, drag slide right here, and you got to drive this ball, drive it right there to Darnell Mooney. One throw, one great decision after another. Here comes the pressure. Sometimes you got to stay in there, and you just got to take the shot, whether they hit you in the helmet, whether they hit you in the solar plexus, and you get the ball to DJ Moore. Like, it's just incredible to watch this movement right here, like in the pocket right here, calm. Now, move and find Darnell, or, yeah, find uh, DJ right there, right on the sideline, first down. And then this touchdown throw to DJ Moore is just a thing of beauty. Like you got to avoid the pocket, set the feet, and then launch the bomb. I mean, under any metric, you can't be any kind of a hater on Justin Fields in this game. He was sensational. This very first clip that I put here is Justin Fields making perfect passes. And I want to put this one specifically first because when you think of Justin Fields, many people would think that he is just a runner, someone who could just take off and use his legs, someone like a Lamar Jackson type of quarterback early in his career when he could basically only run the football and not throw. Well, I'm here to point out that Justin Fields could throw the football as well. And this first clip was strictly to show you how pinpoint accurate he could be when needed. And he does have that big arm like Brian Baldwinger has said. And he showed it against a really good Detroit Lions defense when the Chicago Bears faced them this season. You know the deal. Bears down 10-9 with two and a half minutes to go in a game. Could Justin Fields take his offense down? And right here where he's got nothing to his right, create a play right here. Take him down and get him in a position to kick the game-winning field goal. D.J. Moore on covers, and he hits him for 16. Then they ran a couple of times, and they were faced with third and 10 at midfield. They still needed a chunk. Vikings come after him with just a four-man rush. They've got seven back here, and they're taking away those shots. And right here, D.J. Moore comes into the hole, and Justin Fields ripped it for 36 yards. The biggest play all night. Sometimes you just got to stand back, set your feet, hitch step, and let it fly. And just trust that your best receiver is going to be right where he needs to be. 36 yards sets up the game-winning field goal. Justin Fields got a comeback win. Needed that. Once again, before I get into the rushing highlights, I want to show more Justin Fields throwing the football highlights. And once again, he does it against the Minnesota Vikings, who actually had a really good defense later towards the end of the season when Brian Flores has cooked up some blitzes and had the defense playing really well. They're banged up all season, but they were really good defense. And Justin Fields made plays happen. He was able to do it at a very high level. When he gets his feet set and he's under control, he can make any throw needed. He's not just a running quarterback. He has a huge arm. He can make throws on the run. Even though he tries escaping with his legs, he could still throw on the run, and even in the pocket, he could still make every throw. And this shows it here once again. If I'm a kid in Chicago, all I want is a pair of orange Justin Fields football cleats. Because this guy, his ability just to get through that right there. Alex Anzalone, 
you get Aiden Hutchinson. Like the shoes, it's like Jordan. It's all about the shoes. They can't tackle them. They can't catch them. And all he does is run away from them. If I'm a kid in Chicago, mama, dad, all I want is a pair of Justin Field shoes. Please, I want to be able to move like that. To start the game, the Lions had no idea how to contain Justin Fields, even though they watch him all the time. And on third and three, he just breaks out for 13, slides into second base, no problem. All right? Like, they still don't know how to stop this read option out of a pistol. All right? Bam, there he goes. All right, just outruns everybody, knows where the first down marker is, 11 yards, first down. Then you do this. Great play design right here. Fields goes out. And here comes DJ Moore. Now, what do you do? You fake it to Justin, and then you pick up the block. Braxton Jones out there. Here comes Patrick. And you do everything, including the Soldier Field leap. I remember Justin Field's start like it was yesterday. It was in Cleveland. And this beast out here, Miles Garrett, probably sacked him four times. He was sacked at least nine times in the game. Look at Miles Garrett with the cross chop. Bam. And then look at him turn the corner. And Justin Fields like, oh, not this time. No, you got me the last time I was here on this field. Like, you chased me all over the field. Now I'm going to let you keep chasing me. And Zedaria Smith, you can keep chasing me too. Because I got a different thing in mind. Where's my tight end? Where's my – look at his throw on the run to the left. Like, can it be any more perfect to Cole Komet for the opening touchdown of the game? Now, nah, they got Justin Fields a couple years ago. They didn't get him this time. Not on that throw at least. Well, now this is some Justin Fields running highlights. Because you've seen him throw, be able to throw the ball, I made sure to put those first in the video when Brian Baldwinger did the breakdown on them and my reaction. But these are the highlights of him running and his main running highlights. Because when you think of Justin Fields, like I said, you think of running. He's a dual threat type of quarterback. His main attribute is how fast he is, how well he's able to escape pressure, escape the pocket, and make one small mistake by the defense line, defensive backs, or whoever by the defense, and make it turn into a touchdown. He's able to do that many times throughout a game, pick up first downs when you think you have nothing, just by using his legs, and able to just escape in an instant. He breaks tackles really well for a quarterback. He's a very strong quarterback as well, and he's really fast. So the Steelers are getting a dual threat type of quarterback, as he showed in these clips, and he did it even against a Miles Garrett and Cleveland Browns defense, in which we know the Steelers usually face twice a year, if not even maybe three times, if they make both make the playoffs. So doing it against a team that's in the Steelers division, against Miles Garrett, defense player of the year this past season, he does it at a very high level. His main attribute is running the ball, but he could still throw as well. Let's watch Justin Field throwing it right here. Look at his motion, and look at the shift. Motion, shift, and pistol formation. Then down here, you get Mooney on a stop, on a perfect stick throw. Corner's going for, that's Sutton right there, going for the interception, and Mooney takes it for 28 yards. Then, how did Cole Komet get so open? Like, here he goes, he's going to stair-step across the formation, behind the linebackers, and Justin Field puts it right on him. And again, a lot of yards after the catch because of the accuracy of the throw. 41 yards right there. And then how about Valus Jones right here? Like, how about this? Detroit shows man coverage. But then they blitz Jerry Jacobs. And the, the Bears act like they know what to do against the blitz. And they do. Hot read. Bayless Jones on third down picks up the first down. All right. And then fourth and 13. It's a dog fight of the game. DJ Moore down here. Like, he stacks the corner. <sighs> Can't throw it any better than that. 38 yards for the touchdown. Breaks open this dog fight. And the throw? Bam. Stick it. Stick it and rip it and rip it good. Just take it to the house, DJ. Soldier Field, Sunday afternoon. First quarter. Flakes coming down thick. I can't wait for the Bears to have a playoff game, a home playoff game, and the weather is like this. And Justin Fields making these kind of throws to DJ Moore, like right on the money. You look at this first touchdown throw. I don't even know how he can see the corner. Like, how can he even see the corner of the end zone? But he did. When does it even practice this stuff? Do they allow this at Alice Hall 
Or do they go indoors when it's snowing like this? When do you learn how to throw a football in this kind of a blizzard? Justin Fields, right on the money. You can't cover DJ Moore any better than this. Like, he got there just within a snowflake. Like, this is going to be so nice, man. Like, you watch and read this coverage right here on this overload blitz right here. Read the coverage and make the throw. Drop the ball right in a snow bucket. Beautiful throw. I mean, you want to see it from another angle? Why wouldn't you? The snow lets up, but the throws were just coming down like a blizzard. Look at this throw. I mean, come on. Like, is this guy the future? This pickup of DJ Moore? Like, just keep building. Dang, they got a good thing going on in Chi-Town. This is the end of the film breakdown done by Brian Baldwinger on Justin Fields and my reaction to it. But I just want to end it on Justin Fields. Pinpoint accuracy. Putting the ball on a line, holding the defense back, holding the safety, and putting the ball straight on the target. He's a really good quarterback. If he gets it all together, if he's been put in a good situation, he gets the job done. And that's what hopefully the Pittsburgh Steelers could turn him into full time. He's been inconsistent, but from these clips, from his highlights, you know he could do it. Now it's just a matter of consistency, being able to do it consistent and hopefully having a season to sit behind a veteran like Russell Wilson and not be thrown into the fire like he was with the Chicago Bears trying to be a superhero for their team. If he wasn't doing it all for their team, they had no chance of winning. So now being in a Pittsburgh Steelers system where it doesn't all rely on the quarterback, it relies on the team in general, hopefully this allows him to be himself and do it more at a high level, more consistently. But he could run the ball like you've seen all season in these, in these clips, and he could obviously put now, like you see, put the ball on pinpoint accuracy and do it at a high level. But the Pittsburgh Steelers got an absolute steal. I'll get more into it in a different video saying how they kind of fleeced the Chicago Bears, but we can all just tell getting a Justin Fields color player, someone with a very high ceiling for a six round pick, that just says it all right there. Omar Khan did a great job fleecing the Bears. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. This is the film breakdown of Brian Baldwinger on Justin Fields and my reaction. Make sure you go subscribe to this channel down below so you can never miss out on videos like this, updates with every Pittsburgh Steelers news. I cover all so far this free agency and I'll continue to do so. Make sure you turn on notifications and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about Justin Fields and this breakdown. But I'll see you guys all later, hopefully very soon for more breaking news. But until the next video, I'm out. Peace.